Hello everyone and welcome to SUNUP. I'm Lyndall Stout. We join you today from OKC West, the cattle auction site that's being rebuilt after a devastating tornado brought the operation to a standstill just a few short weeks ago. We were right in the middle of it. Like most of us in Oklahoma, Bill Barnhart was glued to the TV on May 31st of this year. An EF5 tornado on the ground, the widest ever recorded in the United States, with wind speeds exceeding 200 miles per hour. I just knew as soon as I saw that, I jumped in my car and, and headed this way. OKC West, between Yukon and El Reno, one of the highest volume livestock auctions in Oklahoma and the region. On average, five to 7,000 head of cattle are run through here each week, even more during the peak sale season. Bill's first concern the night of the storm, his employees. Everybody got out okay. They, they actually uh, took shelter underneath the scales of the, in the arena. Um, I had a couple more guys, they jumped in one of these storm shelters that we sell, and uh, they came out just fine. It was a Friday night. By the way, that's probably the best night this could have happened, you know, for people and cattle, and there's very little going on. And uh, there were seven people in the restaurant. They took shelter under a stairwell, and that part of the building was just wiped clean, and they came out just fine. It was amazing how, how we got through without any injuries or, or fatalities. Amazing because the giant tornado killed 22 people before it lifted back up into the sky. Livestock losses at OKC West were limited to about a dozen head. Even days later, missing sale barn cattle were spotted grazing in a nearby pasture and rounded up. But most everything else was gone. Uh, we have a valuable business here and uh, our whole thought was from the get-go was to let's, let's rebuild it. Let's, let's see what we can do to get it back as fast as possible. And that's exactly what they've done. Debris removal alone took three weeks, an estimated two and a half million dollars in damages. We started from scratch. We went down to the bare slab there and just started putting it back up. They've worked nights, weekends, and holidays. Meantime, cattle producers have had to make alternate plans. Producers that have had to sell some cattle over this period of time since May 31st have had to incur additional expenses in transporting livestock to other sale barns uh, in the area. And, you know, that's just an added expense that comes off the bottom line and, produce, and reduces producer profits. Inside, the original arena still stands, along with most of the auctioneer's booth. The scales, that's a big scale. It was spared. Um, got some remodeling going on back there. We, we, the rest of this building, we had to take down to the slab. There wasn't much left of it. In fact, Bill says they're building back better than ever. One key addition, a good-sized tornado safe room and other improvements along the way. I think that that spirit is, is in a lot of cattle producers throughout the state of Oklahoma. And, and, and knowing Bill like I do, it really wasn't a, a surprise at all. Um, first thing he thought was, was how do we get this cleaned up? And then how do we get to having uh, another auction again? People get used to something like this in their backyard and start taking it for granted that, oh, I can load cattle this morning and in an hour be unloading them at the, at the pens. And unload they will. July 24th is the day OKC West will reopen. Cattle will run through the chute once again, less than eight weeks after the storm. We're rebuilding the, everything that was in that office. We're going to have a nice place to eat for people, take care of our customers. It, it'll be there. It'll be nicer than it was. Um, the whole thing will be nicer. Than it was.